Hey everyone, this is Nicole, and I just wanted to show you a project that I've been working on today. I'm actually getting ready to finish it up. I've done um, the majority of the work. I just need to finish a few things. But what I've done is I've taken the power pack for the Game Gear, and I've taken out the old battery, and I'm going to replace it with a new, um, what is it? NIM battery. Previously it had this NICAD battery pack. So what I've done is I've removed the connector from this. Let's set this aside. And I bought this battery pack. I think it is intended for radio control vehicles. But where the NICAD pack was, let's see if I can get that on screen. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus, does it? 7.2 volts, 1300 milliamps. This one is... it may not say on there. Oh no, it does. This one's 7.2 volts, 1600 milliamps. So, I'm going to take this and put it inside the power back. And then I will use that to power my game gear. So I'll move the game gear aside for now. By the way, yesterday I did a full recap of my Game Gear. I had the issue where the screen was dim and could only be viewed if I held it about like that, you know, from a certain angle. So I recapped it yesterday and I've tested it and the screen is working fine. Um, my next project is actually going to be to switch this out um, with one of the McWill Game Gear screens. Um, I have the screen. It's just a little bit more of a complicated mod, so I kind of put off doing it this weekend. Maybe I'll get to it next weekend. So let's set the Game Gear aside. And I've actually already disassembled. Let me get this one screw out. But I've disassembled the power back. So I'm going to take the board out. And I got the idea for this from another YouTube video. And if I can find that video, I will link to it because it is essentially the same mod. I even got this same, not the same model of battery as was in that video, but it's essentially the same. I think the one in that video was a DTXC2192. And this one is a DC DTXC2193. All right. I've actually already even charged this battery. So what I'm going to do is first use some hot glue to keep this probably right there. So let me get my hot glue gun. And let's some hot glue in here just to hold this in place oops hot glue gun fell on the floor I need to pick that up let's add a little bit more in here Yeah, that's good. Just one enough to keep it from rattling around in here. Earlier when I tried this out, I put, I just used electrical tape on either end, which was fine. But I decided to use hot glue because I did test this out and it is working fine. Um, so here's the connector from the NICAD battery pack. So I just snipped the ends of this battery pack and then soldered it to the old connector from the NICAD battery pack. So now I just need to fit everything back in and put it together. 
Um, it's going to be kind of hard to do that with a camera in the way. So I'm going to cut for a second and come back and show you how it works. Okay, so here is everything put into the power back. So I just need to close it back up. One thing about the power back is there are only a couple of screws on the back. It's very easy to get into. That one's in. Alright, that one's nice and snug. We'll put this one in. Alright. Now I just need to put it on the game gear. Switch my screwdriver around. Secure that, plug that in, let's put a cartridge in, alright and let's see if it works, and there you go, and I have my EverDrive in it, let's see I think I was playing Golden Axe on this last, the Sega Master System version, yep. So there you go. It's a nice alternative to, you know, using six AA batteries to just have this battery pack. And then you have the functionality of the power back where you can plug it in while you're playing, let the battery charge. So yeah, that's it. You know, you can watch me get beat up on Golden Axe. Alright, well thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions about this. Thanks, bye.